Hey guys, Dan Korneff here, and I wanted to walk you through the Pawn Shop Comp update. If you're familiar with this box, you can see it got a little bit of a facelift. We've added a few controls to the front here and a utility panel. And on the rear, you can see we've added a setting for GPU acceleration. If you're not familiar with this compressor, I originally designed this to be a tube style amplifier with a FET sidechain. So it has all that nice gritty tube warmth and a really snappy and effecty sounded compressor. On the front, you'll see there's basic compressor controls you're probably familiar with. We have attack, release, threshold, and ratio. We have a power button. This enables the compressor or turns it off. So you can use all the cool controls in the back to overdrive your signal or turn it on and use it as it's intended. In the middle of the gain reduction meter here, we have our makeup gain for the compressor, and there's also an auto makeup gain. So by turning this on, it will disable this guy. This doesn't do anything anymore. And now this is a calculation based on your threshold ratio, attack and release controls that help keep your signal at constant output level. Those are the only controls you really need to get this thing going. But if you wanna dive in a little deeper, you can click on the Corneff logo here to dig into the guts of the compressor and start tweaking the circuit. You have the option to change the preamp tubes. You'll see here, these are three similar type of tubes, but you know, they all sound a little bit different. And there are three different options for output transformers, nickel, iron, and steel. We have our zoom level. You can toggle oversampling on and off. And there's a toggle for GPU acceleration, which will enable your hardware to process all the graphics. Below that, we have the preamp circuit where you can tweak the feedback loop of the preamp, the bias of the tubes. You can adjust the frequency response of the amplifier with the weight and focus controls, as well as their set frequencies. And there is a wet dry blend. So you can use this for parallel processing. Now on the bottom right, is the operating level control. This circuit is based on a really cool old school cassette tape dubbing limiter. Back in the day, you would high speed dub one cassette to another and they would throw a little limiter on there to keep the levels from getting too hot while you're copying stuff. And this thing had just has a sound to it. It sounds awesome. Even just a little touch of it goes a long way. Now the preamp also has the ability to change the type of resistors. We have metal film 1%, which is really, really clean. And they kind of get dirtier as they go down. And you even have the option to change the transistor that's in the side chain. There are two of my favorite compressors here that are modeled. The 2N5486 is a bit more snappy and the 2N3820 has a lot of pump. The preset system has been slightly revamped. It contains a bunch of cool presets that I made and a little bio and link to my socials. You can also scroll through the presets of each category with the buttons on the front panel. And you also have the ability to save your favorite presets right from the front panel. The utility panel has input and output meters as well as input and output trim. It has a tooltip button. So you can now see what everybody's supposed to be doing. It has a built-in manual. So if you ever get lost, you could just hop in here and figure out what's going on. There's an A, B compare button and a copy A to B and also an undo and redo system. The little info icon is gonna take you to the about page for the plugin where you can see the product version, the build date, some credits, our wonderful beta testers, and a link for all of our socials for when you need to get in touch with us. Well, that's it for this quick walkthrough. Go to your accounts and grab it now. Let us know what you think.